What happened? <laughs> what happened? Um, oh, I suppose for me, it starts when I used to play at Birmingham. So, so, so they'd pick a bunch of the boys from from the team to go and pick um, to sell the programmes before the game. So we used to do that, sell sell the programmes um, for Edinburgh when I, I must have been about 14 years old. Um, and that was when I first started playing rugby, uh, 14, 15. And then we would just, we'd, we'd sell the programmes and then go and stand on the little astro bit for the pitch and then watch the games. And um, that's kind of always, when I always, that's when I knew I really wanted to play for Edinburgh. Um, and then, yeah, I was just fortunate enough to think through the pathway system, like the playing for Barry Muir and Melrose and, and age grade stuff, I kind of, uh, yeah, I was quite fortunate. I had it, I, I played quite well as a youngster and then that's how I got noticed and picked up. And then I think it was 2014 in June was my, uh, was uh, the year I got signed. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how it all happened for me. It was all pretty quick and smooth from you know, playing youth rugby, going from youth rugby to senior teams, senior teams to uh, you know the Scotland different, the different Scotland setups like sevens, etc. And then I think I got called when I was away with Scotland sevens in Wellington to go and play my first game, um, which was against Ospreys. Uh, yeah, it was Alan Tolman was the coach at the time. He called me um, when I was in New Zealand, getting ready to leave for for Vegas, and I had to get a flight back. Um, and play at Meyer side against Ospreys, which we won. Um, got sent off though for a hide for a tip tackle. But uh, yeah, that was it for me. Nice. Well, for me, my uh, journey with Edinburgh Rugby. To be honest, I didn't know anything about Edinburgh till I landed on Edinburgh Airport. <laughs> I remember uh, we went to play sevens in Glasgow when it was Glasgow sevens, and I keep telling my wife, uh, Glasgow is closer to London. <laughs> That's why I keep telling her. Um, I don't know, it was really close. I now drive from Glasgow to Edinburgh, but when I first got to Edinburgh, luckily um, we had the Netherwell family, Joe. So at least we felt at home just having Fijians uh, over. Um, and then I made my debut two weeks, three weeks later. Uh, luckily it was a away game. It was uh, against um, Timiswara in Romania. Uh, Challenge Cup, uh, that was my first game for Edinburgh. Um, at least I get to play in a good weather compared to the cold Scotland, but um, yeah, I uh, really enjoyed playing for Edinburgh from that moment on. Um, yeah. It must have been, I'm, I'm, I can imagine you landing at Edinburgh Airport after being in Fiji, or landing in Glasgow and seeing the weather in Scotland being like, what, what the hell am I doing and here? To be honest, <laughs> on the first season, remember when we get the whole kit, yeah, yeah. I keep all the trousers and uh, the long sleeve in my bag. I came over to training with my shorts and uh, just the rugby top. The, after the second and third, I start using it, and now it's really freezing here. Yeah. I mean, oh, well, we're sitting talking because we both uh, got our hundredth caps uh, quite recently. Um, like uh, to sit, to put into words what that means to me is quite is quite difficult. Um, there's a lot of people for me who have helped me uh, get to get to that point, and um, especially, especially when I was younger, kind of coming through like my older brother and my mum. Like I didn't have their their support, um, and the, you know they they kind of help helped me with that never give up attitude to kind of get to get to the point where I was first contracted to Edinburgh. I think um, a lot of the reason I've had success is because of them, and then while I've been here as well, like. Uh, my wife Sammy as well has uh, shown me a, a, a lot of support. I think I've had my fair share of difficult times since I've been at the club. It's uh, from my first cap to my hundredth. Um, I mean, it's taken me taken me nine years to get to get that hundredth cap. And uh, normally, I think if someone's at a club for nine years, they probably have more. But I think we're talking about how many how many months I spend injured a year on average. I worked out like three months or something like that. So like that's take that's. Um, that, that took its toll on me mentally at times, and if it wasn't for my wife Sammy helping me through that, I probably wouldn't be sitting here cel celebrating this and chatting to you, ch chatting to you about it. Nice boy. Yeah, probably the same for me. Uh, I was counting my games. I think I could get up to 100 uh, last season, but I actually just played five games before I got injured. Like that's part of rugby. Uh, we get injured. Uh, we have to sit a few games out, but to get 
to this point where we got 100 cap for clubs, it's pretty amazing. Uh, when, I, when I first walked into the team room, um, at, up in the room suite, when we see the board, um, I keep telling myself, what if my name was on the board to have played 100 for the club? It'd be really amazing. But I had a, quite a challenging choice to make, whether to leave or to resign again. But um, my wife said uh, she wants me to get 100 as well for the club, so that's why we're staying on. But um, pretty grateful to get a 100 cap for the club, uh, for my first pro club overseas. Uh, yeah, pretty special. And to get it on my birthday as well, uh, I think the coaches mm -hmm. really planned it really well. <laughs> but yeah, would love to play the 100 game at home, but I wait to see Brave with the win. It's quite. Yeah, I, I was just saying, I think everyone, everyone anticipates getting that 100th cap and you dream about getting, running out in your 100th game at, in a home. I imagine doing that at the Dam, uh, at the Dam Health Stadium, like it would be pretty cool. But it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, for me, it didn't take away from the fact because I was getting to share it with uh, the people who kind of mean most to me in that room. And it was the guys who play rugby with uh, every day and that's, that, that's, those are the guys you want to share it with. So, I mean, mine was Sarri's away. Um, Tough loss to take because I felt like we had them. We, we should have won that game, um, but it was still, yeah, it was still a pretty, pretty special moment. It was funny you're saying about going up and looking at, at the board and seeing the names of the centurions. Like for me, that was, like I think initially when I was like, realised I was getting to hundred caps, I didn't really. I think because this has just been, been our lives or been like, we've been here training every day. Like it's just a job. It's a, it's a job for us where. We play and it's kind of week in, week out. Like we, it doesn't really, for, for me, it wasn't really hitting home, like what actually a, a Centurion is. And I was the same, I was up upstairs and looking at uh, the Centurions board and actually realising the people who have done it before us, you know, the likes of Ross Ford, Chris Patterson, you know, all those kind of legends. And and uh, I actually realising how, how rare it is to get 100 caps for a club. Like, I think that's something I'll always be able to look back at and, and be and be super proud of and um, like the, the hundred caps is great, but I think just doing it for this team as well. I've had so many like this, I've been here nine years now. Um, crazy to think nine, I've been here nine years and I'm what twenty four. I'm twenty four now, so um, yeah, it's uh, I've had a lot of special memories. I think the group of, it's funny like the group of guys like it it, it changes every year. Um, the you know, guys who I played with my first year, so I'm, I'm still really, really good friends with, and still I'll always be in touch with them. Um, you know, I've made friends for life from being here. Uh, like to, to genuinely be a part of something where I feel like everyone, everyone in the team is a really good mate. It's, it's something special. So, yeah, for for me, it's um, I think the the best things about it has been sharing it with, with all, all my best mates.